Sorry about that, I was having to enter my super secret password to log on to the Pi again. You know, wouldn't it be great if I could log on to the Raspberry Pi without having to enter my password every single time? In this video, we're going to create an SSH key so that we can log on to the Raspberry Pi without having to enter our password, but without compromising any security. Think of an SSH key as a really secure key that only your computer has access to. And then we can create this type of lock on the Raspberry Pi that can only be unlocked using that key. That way, if I'm using my computer to access the Raspberry Pi or control it in any way, instead of having to enter my password every single time, this key will just automatically be used. Head over to your computer and open up a new terminal window. Remember to do this on your computer and not the Raspberry Pi. Then enter ssh-keygen and hit enter. This will start the process of creating a new SSH key. The first prompt is going to ask you for a location and will suggest the default location. Let's copy and paste this path. But instead of ID underscore RSA, let's give this a little bit more of a meaningful name. So I'm going to call this Sam's Pi because it's for my Pi. So I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to ask me to enter a passphrase. Now you can enter a password in here if you want. I'm just going to leave it blank and hit enter twice. And that's it. My SSH key has now been created. So now there will be a private key generated at this location and a public key at this location. The public key is like the lock that we need to send over to the Raspberry Pi. And the private key is like the very secure key that can grant us access to the Pi. So in order to get the public key over to the Raspberry Pi, we need to run the following command. ssh-copy-id space dash i, then the location of the public key, which is going to be what we entered before, dot pub, and then enter the user and host name on the Raspberry Pi. So in my case, pi at samspi.local, and hit enter. Now it's going to ask me for the password on the Raspberry Pi. And now the public key has been copied over to the Raspberry Pi. So this prompt even tells me I should try logging into the Pi using this command. And it's still asking me for my password. And this is because we actually have to tell SSH to use the new key that we generated when we're logging onto the Pi. So I'm going to enter a couple of times to get out of here. So we're going to type in ssh-i followed by the location of the key we want it to use and then the user at hostname. And just like that, I can log on to the Pi now without using a password. I can even exit out again and then do it again. And no entering a password anymore. But there's one more piece of configuration we can do so we don't have to specify the key every single time we log on to the Pi. So exit out of the Pi and head back over to your local machine. Now open up the config file located in your home directory .ssh config. You can open this up with your favorite text editor or just in terminal using something like nano. Now you may have a config file that's empty or one that doesn't exist and you'll have to create one. Either way, that's fine. Just go to the top of the file and enter in host, followed by the host name. Then hit enter, indent a couple of spaces, and enter identity file, plus a space, plus the location of the key that you created. And now save this file and exit out. And now you should be able to SSH onto the Raspberry Pi without having to specify the SSH key or specify a password. Now that we have an SSH key in place, we don't have to enter the password every single time we want to use the SSH protocol. So this includes doing things like logging on and controlling the Raspberry Pi and also using rsync to transfer files over to the Pi.